world changers. In this Motivational Monday episode, we are going to talk about why it's time to stop using the phrase, this is so easy. But before we dive in, don't forget to tap that like button and hit subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. What is going on, everybody? I hope that you were able to rest and recharge this weekend. And now it's Monday. Woohoo! I know, I know. Monday, it gets such a bad rap. I mean, for years, I dreaded Mondays. My alarm would go off Monday morning. I'd be like, no, I just want to go back to sleep or I just want to enjoy my weekend a little bit longer. And I would get up and I would trudge into my day and be like, all right, let me get to this. Until one day I realized, hey, maybe Mondays make me feel sad and stressed out and a little bit depressed because that's the message that I keep sending to my brain. Every time that it's Monday, I'm like, oh man, oh man. But what if I change the message that I keep sending to my brain about Mondays? What if instead I'm excited about Mondays? And that's exactly what I did. I chose, I decided that it was time for me to be pumped about Mondays. Mondays. I woke up on Mondays and I'm like, you know what? It's the start of a new week. This week is going to be filled with opportunity. Let's do this. And here's the thing. I want you all to get this from a young age. The idea that Mondays are amazing, not dreadful. They're amazing. So you know what to do. It's time for us to bust out our best power pose for the week. So feet apart, hands on your hips, shoulders back, head up and repeat after me. This is how I Monday. Awesome, let's go ahead and get started for today. Okay, so I have a math question for you, all right? You ready? Okay, what is two plus two? That's right, it is four, but hey, did anybody think or say, that's easy? You probably did, and if you did this time, that's okay, I actually was expecting you to. For you, this problem may have seemed like a piece of cake, and for years I did not address it when my students would say, this is easy, but a few years ago, I realized that it was time to put a stop to this phrase. Let me tell you a little story. A few years ago, I was teaching my class how to subtract with lots of regrouping. It was the beginning of the school year, and as I was trying to help my students master this skill, one of my girls shouted, this is so easy! And a few other students chimed in with her and said, yeah, this is really easy. At first, this made me smile because I realized, oh, yay, it's starting to click with them. But then, my eyes landed on another one of my students. Throughout the whole lesson, I noticed that he was super focused. He was scribbling down notes like crazy, trying so hard to make sense of subtraction. You see, subtraction was not easy for him, and he was working really hard to make sense of it. And so when he heard that young lady and a few other students say, yeah, this is really easy, how do you think that made him feel? Yeah, it made him feel defeated and frustrated and like something may be wrong with him because it's easy for them, but not for me. What is going on? And when he heard them say this, it was game over. He slammed his pencil down in frustration. His body slouched over in defeat and his head fell to his hands. Hearing his classmates say, this is easy, made him feel like he wasn't smart enough or he wasn't good enough at math because it wasn't easy for him yet. That's when I realized that saying this is easy doesn't help anyone. While it might make you feel good to say it, it doesn't lift anybody up along the way. And listen, I am totally guilty of this too. You can go back into my YouTube past, find videos and math songs where I have definitely used the word easy, but no more. So what do we do about this? How do we use our words to lift others up instead of making them feel like they're not smart enough? Well, let's think about this. When you're saying, this is easy, I really think that you're excited because it makes sense to you. So say that instead. Wow, I get it. This makes sense to me. And you're probably thinking, but Miss McCarthy, won't this still make others feel frustrated that it doesn't make sense to them? And you would be absolutely right if that's what you're thinking. So let's add a powerful question to the end of that. Are you ready? Can I help you? <sighs> Repeat after me. I get it. This makes sense to me. Can I help you so it clicks for you too? Again, I get it. This makes sense to me. Can I help you? 
so it helps you too. So you see how that lifts somebody else up instead of making them feel bad that they don't get it. Oh yeah, let's talk about tone for a second. Everybody say tone. You see, when you're helping someone, you want to make sure that you're doing it from the heart and not make it weird. So you tell me, which one sounds like I really want to help someone? Are you ready? I get it. This makes sense to me. Can I help you so it makes sense to you too? All right, that's one way. Or I get it. This makes sense to me. Hey, can I help you so it makes sense for you too? So which one sounded like I really wanted to help somebody and lift them up too? The second one, right? So watch your tone when you're saying it. Watch the way that you're saying it, making sure that it's coming from the heart. All right, back to the phrase, this is easy. When you say this is easy, it's actually pushing other people away. And you might be pushing people away who actually could really use your help. But I get it, this makes sense to me. Can I help you? This will allow you to lead others, to bring them in and lead them to success. And that is pretty awesome because you are totally awesome. By the way, I am a math teacher and I am incredibly grateful for the opportunity to create video lessons and math music videos for students in grades three, four, and five. I am on a mission to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for you and as many students as I possibly can. So if you know that you need some help with math or you are a teacher or parent watching this and you're like, yeah, my kids definitely need help with math, head over to my website, McCarthyMathAcademy.com. The link is below. Remember that you were born with something special and it's your job in this life to figure out what that is and use it to make this world a better place and yes i mean you see you next time world changers